All right, if you have bought a Moen fixture like this, it's the cartridge type. Uh, this one is just a Menards one. Uh, here it is installed. So if you look even at the picture, there is a large gap behind this, behind the actual handle. That is three quarters of an inch. Now I will say that my tile ended up being a little bit thinner than the original piece. So when you have that all apart, you put this in, it's a spacer. And so this was sticking out a little bit. So I didn't get my tile quite out to where it was, but that's a three quarter inch gap. So um, did a lot of looking online to see what could be done. And a lot of people were talking about shimming this out or moving the faucet piece back. But as you can see, my bathroom is finished and I don't want to cut any kind of holes in the walls um, to do that type of repair. So what I'm going to do, I just have this sitting here, is I'm going to pull the cartridge and I'm going to take a half inch off the shaft, refile the flats back into it, drill it, retap it, and then see how it works. At worst case scenario, I'm only out the cartridge, but if it works, it's gonna look a lot better. Okay, so the first thing that I did is I covered up the mechanism because there's some little moving parts in there. I believe this is considered a 1222 cartridge. So that's the one that you only turn it on and off. Um, you don't have any adjustment on flow. So I'm gonna just take a little file, that's my angle. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I've marked a line back here at the half inch. And I'm just duplicating what was there. I'm gonna make a new flat spot on it. Okay, flipping it over, do the same thing on this side. See it there? All right, hopefully you can see I extended that flat a little bit further. So now <laughs> it's the uh, do or die moment because now I have to go ahead and hack this extra half inch of material off. All right, on these there is a little extra shoulder and that is to identify whether the valve is supposed to be one way or the other for hot and cold. So what I did is I just put a little X, just took my file and made a little X where I'm gonna cut it off. Okay, there definitely weren't threads that deep. So they only had threads just in the very top of this thing. So I do have to drill it out. Uh, the hole was deeper, but the threads stopped just shy of the hole. So that's okay. I'll just file this off and now we'll drill it out. All right, so we got our hole started. This is brass. I already put, I already started these threads. Got to turn the camera on <laughs> so we are right down oh, i think we're to the bottom we're to the bottom of our hole here's our little retainer so it threads in nicely and it stops. I'm gonna go get our other piece. We'll put it on and see if it tightens up. I might just add a washer because of, again, I don't have that correct tap. All right, so here's our piece. Put that back on, see how it fits. Might have to take a little, oh, that fits actually way better than it did. It was very rocky. I think they had actually made it too small. Okay, so. It is still moving a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can throw a washer on and just, just see if a little tiny washer will do it. All right, so I just put a little lock washer on because it's small enough to fit into that recess. All right, I think we are good. Let's go test it out and see how it looks. Okay, so the only other part you have to cut off is this piece. So I'm going to cut a half inch off the same as I cut off the shaft and then I'm just going to re-notch it. You might see how it's got the little notch go in. So I'm going to have to re-notch it down in here a little bit further. 
All right, the uh, shaft went back into the velvet assembly, no problem. And now, that went back in, no problem. So all that seems good. We'll go with the next piece now. Here's the moment of truth. Hopefully you remember what it looked like before with a large gap. So there it is all finished. I was still able to use the little stop, actually whittling down that piece of plastic to longer than drilling and tapping that piece of brass. So it does look better. You could probably go just a little bit more. I could probably go another at least eighth of an inch, but I think I'm gonna leave it like that. But look at that, you can still see that mechanism in there. Part of that though is the reflection. So they, <laughs> that's another weird thing that they did there. They're getting reflection off the back side of the handle, which makes it look even worse than it is. But you can see, you can still see some of the mechanism back in there.